So the objective of the, um, this uh, consultancy was to uh, develop a dashboard to visualize uh, OCV requests, shipments, and campaigns. Um, actually, there was two different phases in the um, time of reference, and uh, we've just uh, been working on phase one. Um, that means to, to clean uh, the existing databases on uh, OCV um, request uh, shipments. So that's a database that was maintained, uh, created and maintained by uh, Malika. Um, this database had some limitations, so there was also the objective to develop a new, uh, more robust uh, one, to define uh, key indicators um, for the dashboard, and then to develop a dashboard um, publicly available uh, so that everyone can explore the indicators, uh, play with the maps, um, and also to develop some country profiles also we didn't have, uh, we are not yet there. So that's a consultancy that started uh, earlier this year, but has been quite spread out over the last few months. Um, and uh, the phase two, um, that will maybe come later, is more to, to help um, with the, the development of tools to uh, assess the request, to process the request, to more easily see when you receive ICG request, uh, what is the context, what is the situation, what has been the history, of uh, vaccination in this place. So, um, um, I mean, that's the phase two, but uh, um, we, are, we are not yet there. So the first step here is really to present the dashboard, but first I need to go through a bit of a, a boring slides just to explain a bit the structure of the, the data. So um, up to now, we have 145 requests. So what happened is that um, countries make requests uh, actually, each request can have multiple demand, so it happens sometimes that the country asks for like a, a new demand of uh, doses attached to a request. Um, so, for instance, if you have the first ICG request uh, and demand in 2022, it will be uh, called a 2022 I1D1. Um, then, once the request is approved, uh, there will be shipments. So, we have uh, 171 shipments in the database. And so each uh, shipment is attached to a request and a link to a particular demand. So if we look at the first shipment for this request, it would be just 2022 I1S1. Um, and finally, uh, there will be uh, campaigns and rounds, so two rounds per campaign uh, that are attached to uh, those uh, shipments. So one shipment usually is for one round, but you can have like a shipment attached to several rounds. Um, so Clearly, the, the, this is how the, the data um, is structured. And initially, there was this uh, uh, big uh, Excel spreadsheet that tried to uh, have all this information. So we, we split into three uh, parts. And, um, and hopefully, it would be easier to, to feel and to manage uh, in the long term. So now I will stop with the, the data and show you uh, quickly the, what the dashboard looks like. So. <coughs> It's a dashboard that you can all have access uh, going to this uh, URL that probably will be shared uh, later. Um, and uh, in this dashboard, you um, it's, it's regularly updated, so it was updated like today. Um, you have access to some uh, uh, global information about the number of uh, requests received, um, number of those requested, and how many are approved, how many countries, and the average uh, decision time um, between so uh, receiving the request and making a decision. Um, so I think that was also presented this morning, this uh, 60 days in average, um, or maybe it was between decision and shipment, I don't remember. Anyway, you have then a map um, that shows like a pie chart for every country where you can look at the request uh, by mechanism. Uh, so whether it's GTFCC, preventive or ICG reactive. There's also some loan that is like a legacy from several years ago. Um, so you have a map. Um, you have also like a, a time series where you can see the, the evolution of the number of requests over time, and you can change the, the time scale. Uh, then you have this uh, chart where you can play with delays. So you can pick like uh, two different uh, um, like a start date and end date. So here is request to decision. And you'll see the, the distribution of the time and some, uh, some statistics. Um, and finally, you can also inspect every um, request in individually 
to see the, the timeline from um, request to uh, delivery and all that. Um, so this is like the uh, global overview and then you have many, many options. So you can look at request or you can click here and see the, the, the doses. Um, you can also split by mechanism or status, whether this is doses approved or not approved. Um, and you can also uh, filter the doses by whether it's requested, approved or shipped. So usually that's the, what we are interested in, is the number of those shipped over time. Um, and you, you can see the, the time series. So if you, this is the global, but you can also go um, like uh, deeper on uh, using the filter. So you can space, uh, see one country, for instance, or just focus on, uh, on one period. Um, so let's see, like just all the ICG requests for uh, this year uh, in terms of, uh, of, um, of doses shipped. Uh, that's what it looks like on the on the map, uh, and you can download the different element if you want to um, put that in presentations. Um, that's the main view, and the second one is a timeline that is mostly helpful to uh, track where um, where uh, we are now. Uh, so here you have a timeline. So the time is in the x-axis, and you have different countries. Um, so this is the last last. Uh, this is the current year, but you can use different periods. And here you can see that the most recent event uh, was a, a request from Kenya, um, some delivery in Pakistan, some round in Somalia that started, um, and so on. So this is the, um, what we have so far. Um, and um, just uh, so. You can use it. You can also like report issues by clicking here if you see something that is uh, um, not working uh, as expected, uh, or if you have like a recommendation as well. Um, and um, to uh, to finish, I'm just going to talk about the next steps. So actually, one thing that uh, um, is taking us some time is to um, so so far what I've presented. This is just uh, data at the country level. Uh, but obviously, uh, it would be very interesting to go at a sub, uh, um, national level. Um, and, um, and so that's what we call the, the district database. Uh, there's also like a, an existing one, but it's, it's been like mainly uh, entered by uh, Malika, and that's a huge amount of work. So we are suggesting a different approach here. So this district database is basically, um, think about like a, just an Excel spreadsheet where you have like a one line per district vaccinated. And for each district, you have some um, statistics, such as the target population, administrative coverage, uh, coverage survey, if it was uh, done, uh, vaccination strategies. Uh, and obviously, it's very difficult to uh, enter all this information from a central place. So um, what uh, Sigmanica started, but we are going to make this a bit more um, uh, formal is this idea of uh, decentralized data collection. So basically, when the doses are sent to the country, there is also, it comes with a, um, a simple Excel spreadsheet uh, so that the, the country can uh, enter the data about the campaign and then uh, send it back to uh, uh, Malika that will uh, just import this data into the master database and so that uh, in the dashboard, you will see uh, all this data for all the, the, the countries. Um, so I think that that's uh, a part where um, we will uh, benefit from uh, feedback uh, from you. So just to show you, like it's a, it's a very simple uh, um, Excel spreadsheet where you have like different indicators. So you have one line um, and you need to enter the geographical location of your, um, the places you are vaccinating. So here in South Sudan, for instance, uh, so we developed this uh, little button here um, where you can actually uh, search for the, 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 the place that you are vaccinating. Um, you enter it here and then you can enter the different uh, statistics, um, like I say, like uh, administrative coverage, number of people vaccinated for each round. Uh, and when you're down, uh, you can uh, uh, export this data and send it by email to um, Malika. Um, 
so it's uh, well do it here but and then we will be able to compile everything and, and, and visualize easily the this data. So that's the the next step. Um, and once we have this, we'll be able to uh, make some more interesting visual visualization at the subnational level. Um, we are also uh, working with uh, Andrew's team at Hopkins to make sure that we have the best uh, geographical information, um, so that when you receive the file. You hopefully you already have the list of all the district in the in the file, and you don't have to type a uh, free text, uh, which makes it much more complicated to to match the, the data and to map it. Um, so thank you. That's a work in progress. Thank you, Anton.